Hello, my name is Christian Brooks, and today I'll be talking about Material Design Light. Um, so my presentation is called Introduce to Material Design Light, and Material Design Light is a front-end framework that was created by Google um, for building material design web applications. So a little bit about what I'm about to cover. I'm going to cover first what um, Material um, Design Light is, and then I'm going to go into um, what are material? What is material design? And there's three principles. And then I'm going to go into a live coding section. So way back when, um, developers had to individually test all of their websites on different devices. There was an issue before Bootstrap and MDL, which is Material Design Lite, which is what I'm talking about today, about cross-device design. So the issue was, how do we get our website to be consistent across multiple devices. So Material Design Lite is a frame framework that helps solve this problem. It follows Google's material design guidelines and also helps with having um, cross-device compatibility. So what is material design and what is three principles? Well, its three principles are materials as metaphors, meaningful motions, and bold graphic and intentional. So in um, material design, every single element in the app is a piece of material and it has any shape or size and it has depth and that depth can be lifted or flattened so to show importance and it can be elevated over other pieces. And one of the other things that it has is um, motion, which is um, basically that every element and every motion that your web application has should be there for focusing attention and to maintain continuity. So this is an example of one of the motions that you can have. When you click a button, it, it creates more options, and then it goes back into it. So the motion of going out displays more option, and it's a motion that only is triggered by the user themselves. And then when it comes back in, it kind of that motion is basically, oh, well, if you tap me again, I'll come back out. And on, this is another motion which Google often has, which is a button. And basically, when you press this button, it goes down, and then it goes, it moves up. And that basically is to alert the user, like focus the user on, oh, there's movement happening, so what I just pressed is going to trigger some kind of response. And there are other motions like material response, which lifts a material over another one, or point of origin, where you click on something and then something greater happens. There is um, consistent choreography, which goes in with continuity, and other ones that will come up. <laughs> Delightful details, which turns from one section to another. One cool thing is that um, Google uses the animations to move um, from one for consistency. So, for example, the play button is turning into pause and then stop. And in order for continuity to um, continue, so when you're watching a YouTube video, for example, when you press the play, although you don't notice it, there's an animation that's being spawned, and that motion has a purpose of focusing your attention and also to that you, there's a next action that's going to be created that you can pause or you can um, stop the video that you're watching. And the last principle is visual, um, is bold, graphic, intentional, which means that every visual creates a hierarchy, has meaning, and creates focus. And so that's being used by color schemes. They're, they're deliberate. We, um, you want it to be pretty. You want it to be consistent. You want it to have ed edgy imagery that will grasp the user's attention. And although all I said, you might want me to just get to it. So how do we use it? Let's just do it. <laughs> all right, so we'll get into our live coding part. All right, so right now, um, I'm actually going to go into how to use MDL compatible with Bootstrap. We have all learned Bootstrap, and I thought it'd be kind of 
weird to just uh, say, hey, you know, everything we just learned, throw it away, and let's just use this. So I was like, uh, let's just try to see if they can work together, and they actually do. Um, so right now, I already have Bootstrap on it, and one of the things I want to do is go over to MDL, which I should have over here. Oops. <laughs> That's our finished product. Um, so the first thing we want to do with MDL is get started by actually installing it on our web page. By just copying that, we can go to mdl.io slash started index.html. We can go to host it and host our MDL on our HTML pages. And then we can go over here and we can make a little comment that shows us that this is where it starts, MDL setup. And then paste it right there. Save it. So now that we have it set up, we can start using all of its components that it has. And they have their components easily accessed. If you're familiar with Bootstrap, it's kind of the same kind of concept going on, where you can get started, download it, and then you're able to use all of its components. So um, let me open up what I have so far in our live demo. So I'm going to open this in browser. So, so far I have a Jumbotron and all it has is a button that says learn more. And what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of um, material design to this in order to make it a little bit fancier. Bootstrap is cool, but I like the fancy buttons that um, MDL has. So I'm going to go over to the MDL website and I'm going to go over to their components and we can look at their buttons. I kind of like this design because I like the ripple effect going on so I'm going to take this. It's the button with the ripple. I'm going to add that to my project. So instead of having this boring button from <laughs> Bootstrap, I'm just going to like have the add that there, save it, and then let's go over to our live code and yes, it's there. Cool. <laughs> and we don't even have to do the JavaScript ourselves for that. And okay, let's add something else now. Let's add a little text field. So they have cool text fields so that like lifts the text. This one, when you click on text, it has like a little animation underneath. I kind of like this one because I like how the text gets smaller. So I'm going to add that to my project. And I'm going to add it right above the button. And I saved it. Let's go back, refresh, and yay, there goes my text field. The end text in it. Okay, and now I kind of like the way this looks, but I kind of don't because I kind of want it to be in line. But instead of doing in line with Material Design Lite, let's do it with Bootstrap just to prove that they can work together and you can interchangeably use them. So I'm going to go over here and kind of use their, I'm going to make an unordered list and a list item. I'm going to kind of copy over. So I'm going to make a UL above this and beneath our button. Um, then I'm going to create uh, LIs around my forms and button item. Oops, let's not forget that closing tag. And then I'm going to add a class to this. I think I already copied and pasted. Unstyled, and then I'm also going to make it inline. And this is from Bootstrap's website. Um, 
actually, I just want to copy list in line. And make each list item lined up. See, there's only two. And then when I save that, that should be it. Yay. See, it's lined up using Bootstrap. So that is Material Design Light. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>